everybody it's christy from christy's beautiful life and welcome to day one of 30 days of sketches seven i'm so excited for you to be here i am going to get into the nitty-gritty of what's happening with this series first and then i'll talk about my layout um what you're seeing me do now is work through some papers that don't actually make it on the layout so you can just watch watch what i do i um I'm so excited to have this kicked off and there are so many amazing crafters playing along. So the plan for this round is that in the description box, there will be the link to everyone who's on YouTube. Now they may be playing along every day or they may just be playing along on a few sketches throughout the month, but their channels will be posted every single day. I'm gonna leave the exact same thing there every day. And the same thing with Instagram. So Instagram will be below the, the YouTube and it's just a great place for you to find people maybe you haven't seen before um, or maybe you just didn't realize they were connected through Instagram and YouTube because sometimes that happens and it's a great place for you to subscribe to them and make sure you are and Instagram I always seem to miss people on Instagram I don't know how I do it but I do so that is my plan for this <laughs> this round so it's not super confusing I'm not gonna really name anyone off by names because I'll forget someone and then I'll feel really guilty but there are so many amazing people playing and if you are one of those thank you so much for being here i appreciate it as always the facebook group is active it's been live since the last series and same thing goes you can uh, if you do use one of the sketches and it doesn't matter if it's the sketch this series or a past series you just find the sketch in the album from that series and you post your take in the comments of that particular sketch so it's pretty easy it's very paper issues type uh, setup and I'd love to see you um, participate and come on over and join because it's lots of fun and tons of inspiration over there so let's talk about my layout this sketch is from Jenny Evans and she did create it for something um, I think it's some form of a kit club I'm just not exactly sure which kit club it is so sorry I can't quite make it out but the designer of the sketch, her name is Jenny Evans, and I love it. I love the banners and the circles, and it's just very eye-catching to me. So I was excited to start with this one, and it's one that I did choose myself. A lot of these are not going to be ones that I have chosen, and every day I've got them all listed out. So every day you should know who picked what and why, and I will share that little bit as uh, the series goes on. The photos are of my kids from the snow day that actually happened during Christmas. We don't normally get snow during Christmas, but we got a whole bunch in December this year and the kids had so much fun. They got to build a snowman. We don't normally have that type of snow either. When it does snow, it's normally not compactable. Like it does, just is not good snowman making snow. But this time it was and Jackson was so excited about that. So we got out there and we we built a snowman and him and Nora had fun just kind of packing it in together and everything. We didn't do a face or anything fancy like that. They just wanted to kind of just make a, a faceless snowman and they did and they loved it. So I'm also using one of the pattern. So this background paper is a pre-made uh, mixed media sheet. I got a big pad, like it's a hot buy pad from Michaels that has two, two of the same mixed medias, but a bunch of different ones. This one I loved the blue to it and I just added as you can see a stencil and sprayed a, a different shade of blue on top of it in the snowflakes and then did some sprinkling of gold, blue, and purple because my daughter has purple in her jacket and I love that. It definitely gives off that nice wintry vibe whereas the collection I had started with that I didn't really talk too much about before it was a little too warm. It's a gorgeous collection this, that snowflake collection. I love it. It just wasn't giving off the right vibe and I couldn't make it work. So sometimes you just have to let the, your plan, original plan go and do something else. And that's what's happening with this one. I am going to finish off by doing just a little bit more mixed media here. And this is the type of mixed media I like through a stencil where you still don't get messy, but it's, it's there. <laughs> this is what I enjoy to do. Uh, I'm just tracing, you can see I used a pencil to trace around where the circles are and I'm just trying to make sure that I have it on the outside of the circles so when I put the photos back down you actually see these little dots and not uh, <laughs> covered up by the photos because I've done that before and I love it. It just looks like kind of, you know, falling snow around the photos which it just goes and highlights the photos just a little bit more which was the plan that I'm going for. And 
I let this dry. I think I let this dry overnight. I don't think I finished this layout in one day. I really wanted to make sure it was nice and dry and flat and good to go. So here I am the next day. I used a little strip. I did keep this snowflake paper from the snowflake collection. I loved it. And it brought in, it wasn't too warm, if that makes sense. It is warmer. It's a cream. It's not a white. But it wasn't so much that it was bothering me. So I do use that as my little strip that you can see within the sketch. I'm also going to go ahead and use my Sharpie to just kind of edge around each of the, the photos and this particular piece of pattern paper that I also cut in a circle. I'm doing that because when I traced my circles, I was too lazy to get out my punch. And so I just freehanded it with what was on hand. So I used a coffee mug and I think one of my uh, double-sided tape rolls. And I used a pen to trace that so there were, you could see the pen lines. And this was my way of fixing that. However, I also love the effect that it gets because it pops up the photos off the page without it being too crazy. And another way you could have done this, which would be the smart way if I had it, would be if I had some stamping ink uh, or, you know, an ink pad of some sort to do that with. I didn't, so I went this route instead. And to finish it off, I'm going to add all the banners. I just went into my stash and used all of this. I was creating this in January when we were working with the Baby Got Scraps series where you're really working through like your scrap bags and stuff. So that's where I pulled most of this from. And I love it. The clouds really finished this layout off. I just am so pleased with that. And the banners, I just kind of randomly picked a few colors that I felt worked. I got the purples and the blues and a little bit of white. And I'm really pleased with all of it. It was fun. It was a great first sketch to kick it off. And I just, I'm very, very happy that it turned out the way it did. Because I think that if I had used that snowflake collection, I wouldn't have been as happy with it. So this was the right option here. So now it's time for my title and I love to do something um, that doesn't just say winter or whatever. I originally thought of, do you want to build a snowman? Because that's what they're doing, but I just wasn't feeling it. So instead I'm going with winterific and I found that on, on Pinterest in my Pinterest board. I've even separated out my, that particular board, my titles board into seasons so in my winter season one, there was this, and I love it. I'm going to use it. Um, I'm going to stack them on top of each other. And this really cool alpha, it's a thicker. It has kind of a snowflake look to it anyways, so that worked perfectly. I'll also put 2020 on the other side just so that there's a, a nice little crossover there. And then my final thing is to decide if I'm going to border with white or black. I like the white because it works with the snow, but the black helped kind of pop it up and really frame it in. So that's the color I'm going to go with. And that finishes up my layout. So there's a look at my finished layout. If you want to participate, please make sure you use hashtag 30DSCBL7. And I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Bye!